Hello everybody, welcome back to the first part of my introduction to bus scripting uh, video series. In this part, we will prepare our server where we will be writing our scripts on. I will be using DigitalOcean. If you don't have an account yet, make sure to use my referral link in the video description and you'll get $100 free credit. Once you have your DigitalOcean account ready, head to your control panel and hit the get started with a droplet button. Here, choose the operating system. I would go for Ubuntu 2004, then choose the size of the droplet. And here, we need to choose the region. I would recommend choosing the one that's nearest uh, to your current location. Then I would select my SSH keys. If you don't have one yet, make sure to follow the instructions in the DigitalOcean documentation. Here, choose a host name. I would just put bash and then hit the create a droplet button. In a few seconds, usually about 50 seconds, the droplet would be ready. I will go ahead and speed up the video so that you don't have to wait 60 seconds here. Once the droplet is ready, hit the copy button next to the IP address and then head to your terminal and SSH to the droplet. Here, I would put my passphrase for my private SSH key. And with that, I'm now connected to my server. If we use the ls command, currently I can see that there's only one folder called snaps. So let's go ahead and create a folder called scripts where we will be storing all of our scripts that we'll be writing along. And then using the cd command, go into that directory. And again, using the ls command, we can see that this new directory is completely empty. And let me quickly zoom in this for you so you can see the screen a little bit better. Now let's start by creating a file. As an example, we could call the file devdojo.sh. So just run touch devdojo.sh. Now, if you run ls again, you'll be able to see that new file here. Then using your favorite text editor, open the file. I'll use nano, followed by the name of the file. The very first line of the script would be the so-called shebang. All that the shebang does is to instruct the operating system to run the script with the slash bin slash bash executable. The syntax is just a ds followed by an exclamation mark and then followed by the bin bash executable. Actually, if you go ahead and save that and then copy the slash bin slash bash and exit and run the ls hyphen l command followed by slash bin slash bash, you'll be able to see that bash is just a, an executable file stored in the bin folder. If you use the file command, again followed by the slash bin slash bash, you'll be able to see some information about the executable. Actually, I'm going to stop right here and I'll try to keep the videos short so that it will be easier for you to follow along. In the next video, we are going to extend our bash script and write an hello world script. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you next.